In this video, we are going to be learning how to make one simple loop with a loop pedal. Looping is one of those things that can be really cool because you can create an entire band sound by yourself with just one guitar, but it also is pretty challenging because you have to get that timing spot on or everything is going to sound wonky and off. So a few things to keep in mind as we're starting is your loop pedal does matter. Make sure that you get one that right when you hit that pedal, it's going to start. If there's any sort of delay at all to it, it's gonna be really, really frustrating. Make sure you check out my video on my loop pedal thoughts. Another thing to consider is when you are doing this, you have to stomp that pedal right on the one. So that is my biggest tip when you're doing this is get that stomp spot on and try to make it musical like you're playing like a drum beat to start that. So this loop is going to be very simple. We are going to be just creating a drum-ish sounding part. We're gonna have a bass sounding part and then a melody line and then everything else that you can create on top of that is just gonna be some fun soloing and that is totally up to you. So let's go ahead and get into this. One important thing is making sure that you don't have any delay or reverb on there that's going to mess up the sound of that drums. It's gonna get really confusing. Um, so with this, we are just going to be muting the strings in this example, and I'm gonna be using my pick to just like rake across the strings like this to create my drum sound. And you have a lot of options if you're doing this on acoustic. So here we go. So it's one, two, one, and two. that's how we're gonna go so as far as my loop pedal goes um, I have the volume just a little bit up from the middle of my level levels how much they're playing back so I'm just gonna go like this one two I'm gonna start before so I have this going and hit and hit. okay let's see if I did it right Okay, that sounds good. All right, so with this now, I am going to now build upon that. So that is the most important thing to get spot on here. Um, and with this, um, I suggest just kind of having a simple drum beat here. Okay, so as far as the next part goes, now I'm going to create a bass part here. And um, I sort of modeled this whole loop after an Ed Sheeran style loop. He does a lot of songs that start with that six minor, that like minory sound here. So um, that's gonna be like this. So I'm going to be working around this B minor here. So for this, I am gonna put a little bit of reverb and I'm gonna switch my pickup to being my neck pickup, just so I have that bit more bassy sound to it. Um, and even better if you have an octave pedal or something like that. So I'm just gonna go like this. So two times on the seventh fret E, and then down to my second fret of my E, and then moving on to third fret, two times there, one, and then one, two on that third fret, 
and then going up to the fifth fret. So all together. And this part should be a little bit easier to lock in since I already have that drum beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my drum beat here. Mine has like a little blink when you know the loop's starting over. for me truly did take a lot of time to kind of work up to this. So after this, I'm gonna do a melody line. So you could do chords, you could do like some little triads here, and I am going to now slap on an overdrive. So just a bit of light drive. And I am going to also switch to my bridge pickup just so I give it a bit more of a punch through here so everything doesn't blend together. Um, I think when you are creating these loops, that is something really helpful to think about like a producer mindset. So maybe my like drums and bass are taking up the low end of that EQ curve. And then when I am going to my melody lines and my chords, I'm working in the middle and higher end. So using your effects is a really great way to do that. And if you don't have a lot of pedals, just even using your pickup switches or using where you are on your neck is a really good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna be doing this very simple little melody line in the key of B minor. I'm just working around like a minor pentatonic here. So on the seventh fret of the B string, two times there, and then 10, 10, 10, seven, or sorry, um, nine on the G, seven on G, and then ending on that nine on your uh, D string, so. That's how that part goes. And then I kind of have a response part and I'm um, muting the strings here. And now I'm going. So now all I'm doing is nine, 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 nine and then seven on D, nine, and then doing that again. So let's see about recording that. Hopefully I keep on this streak of doing these <laughs> correct. Here we go. So last thing I'm going to do is add my solo on top of this. So I am going to add a reverb pedal here. I'm going to stay on the bridge pickup here just because I want to add that um, kind of punchiness through there. So having that high end of my guitar really cutting through. And I'm going to think about contrast of timing. So have a different effect on there. I've changed some things to create its own little pathway musically. So now I'm going to maybe do some big long drawn out triads here. So like on the seventh fret on the G B and E, I can do that, and then move into the fifteenth fret. Now I'm just going to do maybe some fast runs contrasted with some kind of slow held out bends um, to create that contrast in timing here. So let's go ahead and start this off, and I'm just gonna use my mind to kind of free flow creatively through this solo. <laughs> So now I've gone through my entire loop. We've done the drums, bass, and melody part, and then added just a fun solo on top. So I hope that this is fun for you to learn and this all makes sense. Um, biggest tip is don't get frustrated. If you do feel yourself getting frustrated, just take a break, come back to it another day, and do make sure that you research 
your specific loop pedal and make sure that that pedal is not making things more frustrating for you because that is the worst feeling in the world when you change gear and then you realize everything could be so much easier. So I hope that you had fun learning how to make this simple loop and thank you guys so much as always for watching.